Monday, which is good because if, good. if it were not Monday, we couldn't have our guest here because uh, what? we're in the Napa Auto Parts studios. We're joined by the very fine actor, Drew Powell. Drew can't be here on Thursdays anymore because that's when he has to work. He's right. 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 Gotham. We shoot, moved, we shoot for one hour on Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> you mean it's not live? <laughs> you at mean we're doing it and spilling into people's houses? And then it airs that evening. <laughs> that's, that's right. Amazing. Here's something no one's going to like. Wait a minute. Before you say, I just need to tell you this. Yes, sir. You asked the question, and I got the re- response from my buddy Jared in the other room. Our, we had a line in our fight song. Oh, I asked said, what your hi- if you remembered yeah. your high school fight song. I do remember. There was a line that said, our team is the best in the state. We're also quite good at debate. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. Oh. That's wonderful and so awful. <laughs> it's so bad. Does, does it include every other activity at the school? <laughs> <laughs> my, That's uh, a nice shout out to the debate to team. To the debate team. They get some get love. Lot love. My fight song is very violent fight 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 for victory we're gonna fight and never give in Ooh. beat 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 the enemy <laughs> the enemy Whoa. the enemy now josh i the uh, enemy. i'll brag on you a little bit you were part of the uh, cor- male corral at your high school is that uh, no no i was in the show choir it was oh, the show choir. yeah okay, yeah men and the show choir uh-huh. and uh, what was you, did, you, did does, you guys do your high school right? fight song i don't think we had a fight song what? I really Hell? don't. Well, did you have, did you have a, a sports, sports I was part of the first did graduating you have like a class. Coffee clutch song? I mean, did you I don't think we had I really don't think there was a fight song at all. Come on. Mm. You yeah. have to have a fight song. Christy, you were... I'm looking mine up cuz I remember my middle school Why one. Why don't you people remember your high school oh, fight song? Oh, here we go. I, I can remember I can remember my, my elementary Davis, school fight song. My lover, yes we do. Yes. Here's my to all lover, the students. My lover, what? Love her. We love our school. Yes. Mm. Okay. I guess I could look it up online. But that's no, I, that's not right. You're, I was, how could you Davis, not know? It? Well, well again, it was you. very, it was I brand was, new. Oh. I was in the first graduating class. Maybe we, they just oh, hadn't okay. gotten around yeah. to writing yeah. it. Yeah. Yet. Well, ours was clearly written in 1940. <laughs> 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 we, we have there's a line in there that's like Oski Wow Wow, and Oski I think is a interception. It was Oski is a thing. Really? I don't know what it is, but yeah. Well, and if you've noticed, almost all fight songs, there's only like three melodies. So everybody's fight song sounds the same. That's it's right. just the words are different. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So they can't do the instrumental or both both sides of the stadium. <laughs> yeah, <same time>. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and out singing each other. And that's a great idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're on to something. And Davis, we're all for you. Here's one of the worst yeah. high school fight songs in the world, according to Google. It's yeah. for Lake Zurich High School in Lake Zurich, Illinois. I don't know the tune, but the words are, we're loyal to you, Zurich High. We're white and we're blue, Zurich High. We'll back you to stand against the best in the land, for we know you have sand. What? Yes, sand. Zurich High, rah, rah. So bat out that ball, Zurich High. We're backing you all. I I don't get the sand thing. I don't either. Well, Rockwood Rockwood Summit in Fenton, Missouri certainly does have a fight song now. Oh, well. We're the mighty falcons soaring high above the Mighty what? Falcons. Falcons. Oh, sorry. They're falcons soaring. (laughs) Can you hear them? That's a little little harsh. (laughs) Pay attention. It's only uh, two two short verses. Yeah, they usually are. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, well. um, Not around when I was there. Uh, were you in the choir when you were? T- yeah, I was. Uh, I was. Again, for those of you that can't see you, which would be pretty much everybody, Drew Powell um, looks like he should be the captain of the football team. Thank you. And uh, you could. St- I got to tell you, I was I was at an NFL game yesterday, and I, that's the only time I ever feel small. Those dudes are big and fast, and so fast. Yeah, but the camera, we could. You know, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. They could, yeah. They could make just. You'd stand on it. You're not short. What are you? Six two? Six three? Six three? There you on, go. Depending on my shoes. And you've been working out like crazy. What's this all about? Yeah. Is we, this uh, on orders of the boss at work? <laughs> well, you know, it's the, the great motivator is. Um, so when we first see you, you're going to be mostly naked. Oh. <laughs> oh. Here. So, well. <laughs> exactly. <Whoa>. Ladies. Yeah. <laughs> tune in. Um, look, so at the, the end the, of the last... Premier, the, your show premieres uh, Thursday. That's, that's right. That's, this Thursday. Are you naked in this the uh, first episode? No, I, okay. I'm... Uh, you got to wait for that. It's uh, you got to you got to tease that out a little sure, bit. Sure. But, have you, but oh, yeah. have, you, have you filmed it yet? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So I had about seven weeks from the time that we... 
figured out what was going on to the first day of shooting that scene. Um, and so I had now, seven did, weeks to did get Did you have to make gear. your own cod piece? Or do they... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's nice. I'm just, uh, there's a joke there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't enough lumber in Brooklyn. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> See, uh, uh, never mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it's, uh, it's, uh, it, was, it was actually, to be honest with you, one of the hardest things I've had to do in my career because it's, you know, it's, I like to eat, A. Eh? And uh, B, you know, when you've got something that is iconic, um, it's common knowledge that I'm now going to be playing Solomon Grundy, who is a, a DC Universe character. First came to the comics in 1944. Oh, I didn't know that. In the Green Lantern comics, and so he's been around a long time, and uh, and he's a, a great. He's kind of like the DC Universe's Hulk. He's kind of like a Hulk light. Uh, he's this zombie character that comes out of Slaughter Swamp outside of Gotham, and. Uh, so it's really exciting. Uh, it's a ho- total transition for my character, and uh, um, uh, it's been it's been a blast. It's, it's, it's a lot than, of makeup. A lot, uh, of, lot better than being killed off. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, it's, a, lot lot yeah. it's a lot better. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's a there lot was better. that worry. And now, <laughs> yeah, there was. Now he's a zombie, so you can't. Yeah. Now you can't now exactly you can't talk about job security. Yeah. Talk about how many it, hours yes. to get all the makeup put on. Uh, it, so when we did the full body, it was like five hours. Wow. Yeah. Uh, all up. The correct answer is well. Just the prosthetic. <laughs> <laughs> so we back I'm to the copies. primarily nude. We had a four, four and a half hours of the dressing of the. Yeah, well, you had to put up the scaffolding. That took. Yeah, there you go. See right there. <laughs> that took a couple hours. <laughs> Drew Powell is our guest. The show is uh, Gotham now on Thursday nights on Fox. Did you watch the uh, uh, Emmys last night? I did. That's why I look so tired. Uh, I, I watched it to the bitter end. Now, I've been around the business long enough now that it's like half of them are my buddies. Sure. Like my buddy Alexander Skarsgård won last night. Mm-hmm. Congrats the to Scars him. Guards family is having a good year. Oh, yeah. my goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah, between that and it. Uh, yeah. No. yeah. And I got to tell you, I met Bill uh, recently, uh, maybe about three months ago, and we went out on the town in New York. The sweetest guy, and Alex is the sweetest guy, but but Bill is like this cherub-faced, <laughs> sweet dude. And he's, I said, so what do you got coming up? Because I didn't know he was the clown in It. He's like, oh, I've got this, uh, you know, remember the Stephen King book? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> he's like, yeah, it's basically me and a whole bunch of kids, and I'm scaring the crap out of them. Like, I didn't know it was going to be that, though. Yeah. And Chick yeah. McGee, your, your review of It, you saw, Love it. You saw it over the weekend. Love it. Yeah. Loved every minute of it. It's and he's great. already signed on for the sequel. Is that right? Mm-hmm. God bless him. So he doesn't get killed, then, is what you're saying. Yeah. May or may not. Maybe I'm sure he can <laughs> find him. Pennywise can find his way Pennywise back. He turns into a zombie. Dairy, yeah. You know, it's not a zombie real clown. person. Never mind. Okay. I, I, I haven't seen to, it yet. Hard to explain to you that, no, I, I want you to go. You and I will go see that movie It is together. a fun movie. I can go this Very, weekend. It's cool. It's a cool thing. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Can't really commit right now. The lady on. and the kids out of town? No, 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 no. Oh. I just uh, she won't go see it, so that's the problem. Uh. Does your wife like scary movies, Drew? Mm, no. Yeah. Although she ends up like you know what she loves is Black Mirror, but the problem is she likes to watch. Do you have this problem? She likes to watch TV or movies, and then she falls asleep. I can't if it's on. I cannot fall asleep, uh, and I have to watch it to the end. Reverse mm-hmm. that totally. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, fall asleep no matter what because i'm getting up at three in the morning well, fair enough yeah so that's a, that's the complete reversal of course now, sir if you don't know tom has, hasn't made any money since 1986 <laughs> he hasn't slept and since. he gets up before he goes to bed he yes. gets out, goes out <laughs> and he he licks the road for his breakfast no, and then early I, I, he licks the road it's a horrible, it's a horrible oh, existence i don't know why he puts up with it but, but somehow he makes it in here to enter, entertain all of us and not hold it over any of our heads so thank you tom go to bed early it. sue me okay <laughs> no, you, you say you don't get any sleep. You can't go to bed early. Why would we sue you when we're not going to get anything out of it? That's <laughs> true. That's, money money left, That's right. You don't have any money. I, you're uh, penniless. This is, not, this is not a gripe. It's just a fact. Watching the Emmys now, it's impossible to have watched every show. Oh, yeah. Well, it's always been impossible to watch every show. But, I mean, now it's – I've never even heard of the show that won. <sighs> the Handsmaid's show. Tale. Best. Yeah. You ever watch it? Yeah. Uh, Best not. drama series. I have not, but do you, I, do you I even mean, know what channel it's I was on? aware it's of it. Hulu. Yes. Hulu. It's Hulu. Hulu. Okay. Nevertheless, uh, my point I think is valid that I think 90% of the 99% no, of people you know watching what? have Your never seen the show. Valid. You're being okay. a child. Okay. Veep won. Are you happy about that? Love that show. Thank okay. You. There you did go. Did it win Best Comedy? Yes, it Boy, did. This past season yeah. was yeah. amazing. And they only have on one more season. This will be it. You think they're going to end with an assassination or something? Well, we'll have to wait and see.
Uh, 450 scripted shows, though. I mean, to yeah. your point. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. It is. Yeah. Actually, Come it, on, it baby. For him. <laughs> Boy, they're making a lot of shows. Let's go. It <laughs> <laughs> sure are. Right? Keep it going. Yes, I, I it got is. I got a hiatus coming up. But I, uh, <laughs> Drew is right. It's absolutely great. And if they do ever, if they ever do the Z- Drew Powell, he is an actor. You've probably seen him on Gotham. He'll be working Thursday nights now on Fox. And as you said, uh, the new season, you've got a whole uh, transition. You are uh, although you are featured naked in the... Uh, not, 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 not fully. Mostly, not fully. Fr- fr- we're, not H- we're not HBO. Yeah. You're, you're emerging from the swamp. Is that what's happening? Slaughter swamp. Uh-huh. So uh, uh, does your character... Do you have to be in this makeup now all season, or is that just <laughs> during the... Yeah. Well, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's the textbook, be careful what you wish for situation (laughs) especially because i'm kind of an add guy anyway so like to sit there now we've got it down to like two and a half hours but like it's a wig it's a thing and they they, you know they used to they started out using uh spray tanners to (laughs) because they needed something heavy duty that could really and now they use rollers literally wow paint paint rollers yikes they put it on with paint rollers (laughs) so it's like so it's like the lunch lady at my high school that's great for your self-esteem isn't it I feel like a shed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till we have a break. <laughs> Thank you very much. Christy Lee is at what? the Bob and Tom news desk. You scared me. What else have you got over there? A Financial Times journalist was killed by a crocodile while reportedly relieving himself in a lagoon in Sri Lanka. Oh, man. Oh, boy. What did we learn here? Don't do that. 25-year-old Paul McLean of Surrey was vacationing with friends. Was. When he wandered away from a group to find a bathroom when he was attacked. According to their signs? Safa Surf School owner Fawas Lafir. So your reasoning is if I go into a swamp and there aren't any signs telling me that they're <laughs> beware of the alligators, I'm gonna go ahead and mess the guy, with the swamp. The guy's at a surfing school. There must be a river right next to the- a local fisherman witnessed a man being dragged into a river. A Scottish tourist who wished to remain anonymous claimed, quote, Aye. a British tourist went to relieve himself next to a crocodile infested lagoon when he was grabbed under. Oh man. Sri Lankan police and the army are said to be searching the shore and the surrounding area for his body. All right, great. Okay, good. Hmm. Go out and make it a great day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's rough. Man. Oh, God. A crocodile. Mm-hmm. Yikes. Mm. Again, wouldn't there be signs in every language saying No, that? I don't think so. Wouldn't there be a urinal I think somewhere? Th- every lake in Florida doesn't have alligator signs, do they? Okay. No. Go. Okay. So did the alligator eat him because he was relieving himself, or he was? Yeah, never. I mean, you know the you know the old saying: yeah. never, never pee in a crocodile pond. <laughs> you can't pee in a crocodile pond. You can't go bathroom in a crocodile pond. You can't so piss the, in a crocodile pond. So the, pond. So, the, so You'd technically, be happy if you want to. Oski, the croc won the sword fight. <laughs> you can't take a dump in a crocodile. Pond. I, I don't think he was taking a dump. I bet he yeah. was. I bet he was. I bet he was about, he about, he no. about thirty like, seconds in. Yeah. You can be happy if you want to. Okay, I'm sorry, Christy. Oh, they did find his body. Though. Oh, they did. Oh, yes. That's, oh, that's yeah. Great. It took a day, but what's they did. Uh, what's Lacoste? Well, like, no, after you eat, it usually does take a day. <laughs> you know, he got eaten. He was eaten by a crocodile, but thankfully they found his body. How does that make it better? <laughs> what's uh, what's Lacoste of sending it home? Oh man. Oh. So little, wow! A little fashion joke there. Oh, Slow wow. Clap. Sorry, back to you. <laughs> Alligator costs. A sign language interpreter warned Floridians about pizza and monsters during an emergency briefing for Hurricane Irma. God, I was wondering about that, watching all that coverage. You have to wonder, are the people up there, do they know what they're doing? Because Acor- they, yeah. they have a shortage of people that do the interpreter. I have a question, though. Why do they need those people when they have closed captioning? For the for the deaf people who were in attendance, they were killing it though. Oh, for, oh really? Interpreters. Yes. Oh, okay. They were like a lot of emotion, and uh, I mean, they were. Yeah, that's part of the gig. Yeah. According yeah, to the, the Daily gig. Moth, Marshall Green, a Manatee County lifeguard who has a deaf brother, was used as an interpreter for a September eighth conference regarding the incoming storm. Well, that's that's like saying, <laughs> "Hey, my brother's a lawyer. I'll handle your divorce for you." <laughs> <laughs> no, that's no I think he can. Inter- he's been around this boy all his life. Well, how come he did such a terrible you know, job then? You know, Nerves. Once upon a time on the comedy tour, hosting the comedy shows, we had an interpreter. Mm-hmm. Sure. And yeah. this is because I started. I wonder what 
I mean the universal saying, the universal sign for um that's right. self sign uh, pleasure is, self -pleasure. is this, the, ha the hand this. up and down on the broomstick handle. That's what handle. it is, all right. So nice. a couple times this guy accidentally signed the wrong things. He's a couple just, times. He's the Sergio Dip of oh, uh, hand, you know, <laughs> of, of wow. American signs. Never Sergio. thought I'd hear about him again. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, it's just because he was probably nervous. He, yeah, you know. members of the deaf community said Green mostly signed gibberish, referencing pizza monsters <laughs> and using the phrase... Help you at that time to use All bear right. big On during behalf, the event. On what? behalf of the Bob and Tom show, I think we should issue the deaf community a, an apology. Uh, yeah. <coughs> We're sorry! <laughs> oh, that's oh, subtle. Thank you, the great Garrett Morris. <laughs> we hardly knew you. That's the news, <laughs> and have a pleasant tomorrow. Green was asked to interpret during the conference rather than have no one there signing. However, apparently he didn't know. Exactly. Oh, so this nice. guy may have so not he, just messed up a few times. It may have been terrible. He said the there time. were monsters coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, well, that'll, that'll get monster, people moving. I guess. <laughs> a monster of a hurricane. Monster hurricane. That's but just uh, didn't you, uh, the translation, I guess. It says here he said um, monsters help you. This is he did a terrible job. So that, I, I again, that's a shame. That, that is a shame. I thought I thought all they needed was the closed captioning, but this is so for the people in attendance. Yeah. Okay. Watch the monitor. <laughs> If you're sitting in a crowd, you don't <laughs> no, know. But this is the governor doing it at, at a, like a hotel lobby right. having does a press every, conference. Does everyone have closed captioning on their TVs now? Yes. Oh, mm, I would okay. think. I think it's you have to, right? Yeah. And you and if you, and the TV stations have to have it during emergencies. If they don't, uh, they get fined thousands upon thousands of dollars. Mm. Well, of course, they, any and kind they of any kind of emergency, it has to be on the uh, on the closed captioning. Yeah. It's like fifty thousand dollars a minute or some crazy thing. I like to use the closed captioning when I watch my favorite show so I don't miss a word. I have to use Me it. Me too. I, like hard, yeah. hard Knocks See, is I, one. I got in trouble because I was saying on the show Ozark, I have to have it on because I can't understand the old guy that never moves his mouth. <laughs> oh, <it's not> <laughs> <laughs> he, never, <laughs> he never moves his mouth. Can't yeah. understand. Or how, or I'll get now, the women which is more started. likely, they hired an actor who can't move his mouth, <laughs> or Tom just has trouble understanding what he's saying. Well, in which Tom's is defense, more likely. a lot of people had trouble well, with it. I just Googled, we found out. Yeah. I Googled that guy's, Shut up, John. I Googled that guy's <laughs> name, and the first thing was there was a huge thing. Why can't I understand a word this guy's saying? <laughs> Are we talking about the Harris Eulin? Or which guy? The I'm old, only halfway through that season. The, the, the old the guy series. that serves the lemonade and kills people that owns the. Uh, oh, spoiler alert! What are you doing? Jeez. Tom doesn't care. You you come on, man! You just did it right to his there. face. Yeah, no, I he swear doesn't. to God. I mean, yes. Drew even prefaced it with, "I'm only at, like halfway yeah, through." Exactly. Yes. They I, don't even show up until like halfway through. Oh, I thought he killed the guy like episode four. Come on! Oh, man. My, my 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 buddy's on that show, and even he didn't spoil it for me. Which yeah. buddy? Who is he, it? He plays the brother with the big bushy beard. That Markman guy's great. Shaka. Oh my he's great. a good yeah, buddy of mine. Yeah. He's great. I'm not going to say anything more. He's great. <laughs> See, by even saying I'm not going to say anything more. What does that yeah. imply? It implies it something. It implies he's electrocuted, okay? <laughs> That's what that implies. Wrong method. <laughs> yeah, I did know that he. I he's know, he's I not. I didn't know the end. He's not going to be in season two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did know that See, part. This is the, the joy of Netflix shows is that you know they're going to be there, so you don't have to watch them right away. That's Plenty right. of people that is exactly a good point. are right. punching oh, oh, their radio. Yes. <laughs> I am sorry Rosebud no. was in a slut. In lieu of punching you. you. <laughs> right, well, right. No, your buddy, he is one and of the Rosebud finest. And Rosebud wasn't a sled if he's, you know anything about anything. He's great in that movie. He's uh, great in that show. I'm going to tell him. I'm going to text him oh, right now. Oh, he's great Yeah, he's absolutely show. terrific. Yes. He is scary. He is scary from What's his name? Let's give him a First two minutes he's on. Mark Menchaca. Mark Men. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. We, have you been anything with him on uh, in, the, in the small screen, big screen? We did a movie in Indiana together at my alma mater, DePaul University, um, and that's how we met. And um, oh, it's it called Animal Reparation. House, Animal House Four. Animal House Four. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not helping. I know. No, he's, no, I'm sorry. He is terrific. I thought we were supposed to laugh this he's morning. He's scary in that. Now, let's move on. We have Christy Lee at the Bob and Tom News Desk. It Our guest is, is actor Drew Powell, Gotham on Fox, moving to Thursdays. You're just as bad. Yes. Have Thank you done you. Any, uh, any live uh, conventions of any kind lately? I did one uh, just on uh, Saturday before I came here. No kidding. Yeah, in New Jersey. How'd it go? It's, they're great. I got to tell you. Okay. So Do you have a picture I, you sign or something? Yeah. You basically sit, myself and all the other actors that mm -hmm. are there, you sit down and you have... Uh, pictures and people come up and they either want an actual autograph picture or they want a selfie. Anymore, selfie is the, th the way to go. That's what they want. Sure, they yeah, want the picture. Sure. And uh, but really, what they want is an opportunity just like to to have some time to chat because they love the show. And and 
I, I thought it was weird at first. I'm like, what do you mean? I would, well, I would do this for free in the airport. Why am I going to go and, and charge people? And then somebody told me, and correctly, that no, this is a chance for people to like feel okay, not feel bad to interrupt you. Like this is they, they, they want buying their ticket. And they can they can talk to you. They want and, their Drew Powell moment. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I put it that way, but but yeah, and and I get a lot out of it. It's really cool because people have very very. I mean, and it's great that people have opinions on the show. That means people care and people are watching and. Um, do you and find the, that they know more about the show than you do sometimes? Oh, for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, and remember things that I don't know. And, yeah, and, and uh, almost e- exclusively they're, they're very sweet and kind and, 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 you know, only slightly weird. And, j- and that's like, just like me, so it's perfect. And, uh, and it's, it's also like families. Like they'll come and the grandma watches with the mom, with the grandkids. And, you know, like some, a lot of them come in costume of, uh, you know, I haven't had a ton of – I didn't have a ton of butch – people dressing up but there was a solomon grundy this week nice yeah, yeah. And that, was, that was pretty cool there's a great photo of you on instagram posing with a kid dressed as the predator oh that kid was incredible <laughs> i mean it was like to the t i mean they had the the, the dread looking things yeah and the, this the is skull. cosplay tom you're yeah. aware of, of course, cosplay, yeah. of course. <clears throat> he's probably he's probably getting more selfies than some of you guys oh definitely good, no question yeah. hey, hey hey i stopped him and said i need a picture with you so i gave my phone to his mother <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a switch that's awesome yeah I've heard the key to those conventions is when you take <clears throat> photos with people, except you put your arm around them as opposed to having all those people putting their arms around <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know if I should say this or not, but there is it's a term that floats around called uh, fan butter. <laughs> <laughs> fan butter? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah, because, you know, people get nervous and they're sweaty. And, sure. You they've know, been standing in line. They've been standing and, in yeah. line, and, and there is a – let's put it this way. I'm really glad that I'm tall because all of uh, my my actor friends that are short, if you smell their mm. shoulder Sh- exactly. by it's the end of the night, it's it's not pretty. Just an oleo of armpits. That Ooh. small price to pay. Small price to pay for good fun. Uh, I like the oleo of armpits. By the way, that went unnoticed by everybody else. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> nice joke. Nice variation on fan <laughs> butter. <laughs> fan butter. That is so disgusting. And you're welcome. God, that's the second new. Enjoy new, your breakfast, everybody. Second new word I've learned in a week. <laughs> Here's that. Do you know what? Uh, Pictures uh, he's referencing. Oh, that's, uh, let's kid. see the guy. Oh, my God, that is amazing. Isn't it great? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah I, I learned the term waffle belly. What? Last week, which I'm I didn't know. I'm not aware know. of this. Oh, oh yes, you yeah. were absent. This is a one, this is a great term. What's the I waffle belly? I've never well, heard this before. Try to see if, we, if you can guess it. In the world of, um, in the, I don't know how, how Well, in the world of stand-up comedy, yes. uh, there are some female groupies. Uh, uh-huh. You may have heard the term uh, chuckle. Chuckle blankers S- rhymes with mm-hmm. yes yeah yes uh, yeah yeah uh-huh um every, e- every endeavor has its groupies like right. truckers have lot lot, lot lizards. lizards right apparently Wait, navy what? seals have lot f- lizards hogs. waffle belly is a type of groupie can you uh what activity would a groupie uh, be attracted has a to? waffle belly waffle belly I, I i never would have guessed that either they like uh Waffles? That's a fine <laughs> guess. <laughs> I mean, that's why wouldn't that be? There, uh, I put people a, that work at I'll, Denny's. They're, they're, no, I was going to say Waffle House. That's another yeah. Waffle House. Oh, that's way better. Good old that's Waffle why I don't do this for a living. House. These these ladies, their their um, bellies would resemble a, a waffle, waffle because uh, this is a tough guess. Yeah, I, I never would have gotten it. I, uh, I it's know. it's a, a race driver groupies leaning against the they're fence. They're up against the oh. fence. Oh. <laughs> Themselves up against so they, the fence. they call them waffle bellies. <laughs> oh, I because... thought I'd heard fence huggers, but well, I'm sure there's more than a few. Uh, yeah. Wow. Hmm. So uh, there you go. I'm going to ask my buddy Simon about that if if he knows anything about what do you call them? Waffle, 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 waffle hoppers. Waffle, waffle bellies. Bellies. Belly. Waffle bellies. Waffle They're up against the fence. Waffle, so... waffle. Oh, yeah. Simon had a big win yesterday in Sonoma. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Absolutely. I missed the first half of the Emmys for that. Yeah. For him. Now, uh, we have uh, Christy Lee at the Bob and Tom News. Desk. We're hanging out with uh, Drew Powell from the uh, Fox television show Gotham. Once again, Drew has to work on Thursday nights now. And, that's uh, right. 8, p- 8 p.m. Uh, season premieres this Thursday. That's right. Yes, that's right, Tom. Eight All o'clock. television is live. Man, can't wait for this time. show to get started again. I Love know, it. you incredible dick. I am just trying to make it funny. <laughs> I was <laughs> doing it earlier, and I got no support. Are you not, a binge watcher? Do you watch, huh? Are you binge watching? I'm binge watch. Yes. You do binge watch? I, I binge watch everything. Well, it could be killing you. You have great taste, Chuck. Chick, Chuck. Who's Chuck? Thank you, oh, sure. Thank you Drew. You just <laughs> made my week. <laughs> and it's yeah. only Christy, Monday. Christy, why does Chick hate it when you call him Chuck? Because his mother used to call him Chuck. It's and a how wonder does, how when does Drew she sound? said it, I didn't flinch. <laughs> how does she sound? Chucky, bring Mama her smokes.
I'm going to take you out in front of this building and place your jaw on one of those concrete steps and curb stomp you. <laughs> what do you think of that? Wow, you uh, could uh, help you. You thought about that. Isn't that something your mom would do? Oh, to you I thought about it. Oh, Lord help us. I'm sorry, Chick. 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 Did, yeah. I tell, did I tell you that story on the air? I've got to put that picture up of at least me. I don't know if I want to put the picture what up story? of that, those two, but it's a, a picture of me and my mom and my dad. Yeah. My, uh, my oldest daughter found it. And I'm like 13. Oh, is that the one where you have two black eyes? <laughs> oh, my Jeez. gosh. Nice. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> no, but to add to that, wow. we're sitting on a is sofa. Mom the pole cue, the pole we're sitting. <laughs> we should explain. Everyone I, having a good time. We have time? a guest in the. Is, uh, <laughs> Uh, My Chuck mother here. was very physical with her love. He has a <laughs> he has a famous story it's about another. he has a famous story about being hit by a pool cue. Oh. Although I like to point oh. out the child corner pocket. The, oh. the, the, oh. Before she did it, she took it out of the case no. and screwed it together. Anyway, no. he had to watch. That. Oh, geez. and I'd forgotten about it, but there was and there was this picture, and my mother hung pictures really high, like. Not eye level. Not eye level, high. like hot. Almost like headshots of a comedy. <laughs> yeah, right up there. And uh, it was a picture of this little cartoon girl in a little pink dress. And she always, my mom would say, that's the daughter I never had. Oh, oh is it true? Oh, my. That's, all of this is true. What in the world? I, that explains a lot about poor Chick now, doesn't it? Uh, and Feel bad about calling him Chuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Jesus. <laughs> wanna, and wanna, this is what you arrive at. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> we'll come back with more comedy and less back? sorrow. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to go give... Chick, a hug now. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I think I've got to. Uh, no, this will make you feel better. Just phone. move in slowly, otherwise you flinch. <laughs> <laughs> now, Drew. Because he was abused. <laughs> as an actor, Drew, your real name is Drew Powell. Yeah, that's, yeah. Your, that's your actual well, Andrew, name. Andrew. Yeah, Andrew. And, is but I mean, yeah, not when I'm in trouble. Yeah, now, Andrew. Chick. Chick, your first name on the radio was Chuck. Chuck what? Michaels. And Chuck how do you spell it? Well, I was extreme, Drew. You'll love this. I spelled Michaels M I K E L Z. What? Yeah. <laughs> I, th I still think that's cool. I don't know why you think it's funny. It's very good. It's very there's, cool. There's less sorrow than an S. Yes. Michaels. What? No, I was extreme. Coming from the chief. That's it right does sound a little yeah. It yeah. sounds Tom, a. Tom was the chief the on the chief. radio when he started. That's oh, because that the, makes so much sense. The, <laughs> of course the station that makes was so, so much bad. Sense. I didn't want anyone to associate. Although, if you look for him in this first episode, you may find yourself coming up short. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to give anything away. Yeah. But you uh, just did. No, not necessarily. He did. Uh, let's yeah. uh, let's get back to the action here. You we, are amazing. Thank you. We so have just uh, sit and watch you <laughs> in your mind. <laughs> it's like five or six car wrecks. At we the have same a, time. a special treat coming up. We do. Mm -hmm. Drew's going to get to do something he doesn't ordinarily get to do. Um, oh, it's Monday. I bet I know what this is. You're, you're, you'll be, oh, you're, I don't know what this is. Oh, you'll be very surprised. Is. It'll be fun. It's no, going to be great. Let's. Uh, do you have anything else over there at the news desk, Christy Lee? Uh, yes, I was talking about how binge watching could be killing you. Excessive hours of sitting to watch TV has been linked to an increased risk of dying from inflammatory diseases like Alzheimer's and diabetes. A study of more than 8,900 adults published in the Journal of Medicine and Science in Sports and Exercise. Well, which is it? Found, in, in the Sports, in and, exercise. sports oh. and Exercise. Found each additional hour of TV viewing was associated with a 12% increased risk of inflammatory related death. Sorry, I can't hear the rest of that. I'm sitting right here. <laughs> a study shows that listening to the radio will make your brain bleed. Those who spent more than four hours a day watching TV were at greater risk. I did this story because I was. No, she, you know why she did this story? Because why she that? doesn't watch TV. Right. She's one of those people, I don't even know where my TV is. <laughs> I know where my TV is. I don't I watch it don't. very much, though. I'm super busy. <laughs> I am. See? I don't, I'm just too busy. She's too busy What did you do yesterday? I watched football like an All American. All day, yeah, right? Damn right. And somebody knocked on my door at 435 on a Sunday. Were they delivering something? Was no, it, he it wanted was to sell me something. Boy Scouts? I, it was Boy Scouts. Nope, I opened the door and I said, NFL Sunday. Sorry, dude. Shut the door. <laughs> what Boy Scouts selling? came to my That's door great. and bought popcorn. I it was don't a nice know. thing. People, it, oh, you had $75 on you? <laughs> it was 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah, for a four-ounce bag. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Boy Scouts, but come on. <laughs> when, your, when your popcorn costs are more than a movie theater's... <laughs>
So this is going really well. This break. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting back and enjoying it myself. Can we, uh, can nice we take any of, this, any of this part back? Uh. <laughs> but that God. during the that surprises me. Who sends somebody to your door, door, door on a Sunday, Sunday after late afternoon in the fall, more or less? This is why you need to live in a gated community. Oh jeez, oh, pre- preferably an electrified gated community. Yes, <laughs> all the better. <laughs> Can you put up a gate? I had a very nice conversation with this little young man, Luke. He was very sweet. Uh. Yes. Well, that's why I don't have time to watch TV. I'm talking with children. <laughs> well, I was them. doing laundry and I going was, to the grocery I'm store. And helping them, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, They're learning from my so if you're, if you, you, So what you're saying is you're not supposed to watch more than four hours without getting up and walking around. Exactly. Just don't thing. sit for a long well, period of time. Yeah, that's that's fair. If you want to watch yeah, Drew's show. Watch TV into it. If you want to watch Drew Powell's show, I'm Gotham, Thursday nights on the Fox Network, it's not going to take you four hours. No. Unless no. you're, like, no. really dumb and have to keep <laughs> rewinding it. <laughs> and if you are binging it, you can also, look, I know I know who's saying this, by the way. You can do that on the treadmill with your iPad. Yes. Right? Yeah. There are ways around sure. this. Now, I don't view television that way. Way. Certainly, because but that's I, the, not the way God intended. <laughs> yeah, these stats. Well, I won't get, read the statistic again. I think this is a little bit inflated. What was the increase now? It said if each additional hour of TV viewing associated with a twelve percent increased risk of inflammatory related to death. Is that an I don't hour know, per inc- day or per. It doesn't. It okay. just says inflammatory. more than. Inflammatory. I don't know. So what they're have saying the is that the, the major causes of deaths are, uh, are like uh, heart disease, cancer, and Netflix. <laughs> and Netflix. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. there you go. I did watch the first season of Game of Thrones on the treadmill, and it, something gets lost there, I will say. Because I was like, meh. And everybody's like, this, this is the greatest show in the world. God, I'm with you. I can't watch on that one. I, I, I hate the treadmill anyway, but if I'm trying to watch anything, it's yeah. impossible. No kidding. I, I, I actually do pretty well. Because I can't, really? you know, oh, I, but you know me well, and I can't, I cannot multitask at all. But that's just walking I and famous, looking no, at something. I famously <laughs> flew off the treadmill. <laughs> Watching not TV, a, not paying attention. That was a good scene. I don't wow. know. I don't know how much I would pay to see a video of him flying a off a treadmill, oh. but a it'd lot. be a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I a went because I I was it, I was trying to go pretty quick. I flew off the thing, and then of course, and I had the headphones on with me. <laughs> jerks. So, yeah, so I was practically <laughs> hanged. <laughs> Those videos never oh, cease to make me laugh. There has to be security video of that. Uh, I don't know. Then two people. Uh, now here's a guy who's on the treadmill. And and it hurt too. Out. It hurt. Good. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, but yeah, I can see that. Watching yeah. TV on the treadmill. Plus, you associate stuff with what you're doing. Yeah, that's true. Now I can watch stuff, but it's got to be the right thing. Like I yeah. love that All or Nothing on Amazon Prime. I know you watch that chick. Oh no, I don't. Yeah. Oh my I, gosh. I is it it's Steve like a Buscemi? season. Who is it? No, it's no. a season long Hard Knocks. It's the way they. Oh follow yes, yes, team. yes. I do watch that. Yes. Yeah. I started. So, I watched. I started the second season with the. Yeah. Rams. Didn't you say you yeah. were liking it more than Hard Knocks? I like because it's a season, it's a season. And, it, and it and everything counts. And yeah. yeah. They had Jeff Fisher getting fired by the Rams. Oh, and, oh yeah. poor right. Jeff Fisher. Yeah, it's a shame. And uh, Christy's got a crush. <laughs> Once again, Christy it's bases it on uh, who's the most handsome. Uh, who, who's currently the most handsome player in the NFL? Christy oh, my God. We talked about this on Friday. I, limited to quarterbacks. It's uh, what's um, his name? Derek. Um, Andy Dalton. Not Andy Dalton. You don't like the uh, you hair? Like, if you I like your human I'm beings not, on fire. Uh, I'm not. Hey, flame brain. I like and redheads. It's just he's he very doesn't handsome. particularly. Who, Andy Dalton? No, I had no, a conversation. he's not. No. There was a woman that ran on, like, she risked jail time so that she could run onto the field. I was talking to a security guard at the, the Colts game yesterday, and he's like, I said, anybody ever run on the field? He's like, oh, there's this one girl that really liked Andy Dalton. So <laughs> <laughs> she, got, she almost, she got to, like, the 20 before they grabbed her. Wow. Man. Yeah. They Red should, Rocket. Uh, they probably should sign her. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that guy that played? Got, got more on the ground than Frank Gore. That's right. The He's Titans a badass. Guy I'm that I thought he was is. Really hot. Oh, Charlie, clipboard Jesus. Yeah, no, you no, were no, Charlie, no, Charlie no, Whitehurst. Whitehurst. Charlie Just Whitehurst. check your history, your internet history. You were looking at him for 20 minutes last Not week. Not Charlie Whitehurst, the guy that plays for the Titans. Yeah, now. you love oh, Mariota. He's beautiful man. Here's Andy. Do- you don't like this guy? Why am I? No. First of all, I know a a receding hairline, Tom, (laughs) is a problem. But Andy's the opposite. Is, is advancing. Yeah. He's going to cover his face in another couple of years. You wait yeah. and see. He has Eddie Munster. Who was the guy in the Who was the guy in the comic in the, in the Bazooka Joe, whatever that had the wore his collar up to here Pud. and had the big it Pud. Was Pud? Yeah. I guess saying you look like Pud would be Jimmy Garoppolo misunderstood. is considered yeah. a uh, Eric Decker of the Jets is considered. That's uh, Eric Decker, Chris. No, that wasn't him. Rob it was a Gronkowski. Titan. Gronkowski. Oh, I think you're looking at Eric Decker. What happened to Clay Matthews? Your uh, Clay Matthews is eh. Norse God. Yeah, he was attractive. Yeah, he's attractive. 
there's he's got like extra calcification on his forehead from yeah, there's something beating from his head into hit. <laughs> so I, I, talked I, to, I, I still I'm think... unfrozen kid man football player. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm supposed to do in your world. So this the woman jumped over the uh, ba- uh the barrier. Yeah, that's and what he said. Ran to out get to the Andy field. Dalton. To get to, that's what I'm saying. So judging by the Bengals offensive line, she probably <laughs> sacked him. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's who's oh, that guy. Hey, by the way, <laughs> I had the. Oh, uh, that's un- him, Eric Decker. You're right. The unfortunate uh, circumstance to listen to a little Tony Romo doing color commentary. Oh, oh yeah, how'd that go? Wow. it is not good. <laughs> and keep in mind, I yes, I'm a Redskins fan for 50 years. Yep. And but my favorite color commentator is Troy Aikman, so it doesn't have anything to do with Romo was a cowboy. Mm. He's not good. Give him steep learning curve no. there. Did you see Tom Brady time. on CBS Sunday morning? Sunday? I did. That was yeah. great. That yeah. was an interesting uh, story. No. That was great. No. Was- Listen, I saw Tom Brady's kid when we were his wife and I were in the same hotel doing a movie, and I almost pushed the kid over. <laughs> That's how much of a Colts fan I am. Well, okay. Tom I mean, Brady I understand was- that, but... Tom Brady's fan beat me up. <laughs> Bush, Tom, Bush, Tom, Bush Tom Brady now. says he, <laughs> he's actually faster... Like He's faster now when he, than he when he was a teenager. He's faster really? now at age forty than he was when he was in high school. Yes, I don't that's what he says. And uh, his uh, <laughs> his eating regimen is uh, wow, it's s- super strict. Yeah. Is, uh, so you got to choice, and, and he goes to bed very is early. Is Giselle on that regimen? <sighs> yes, as a matter of fact. Are you fact, trying to say that they ever? Uh, do they think? Do you think they ever? Uh, <laughs> 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 Seriously. There you go. Uh, we have a great guest in the studio. He is actor Drew Powell. Hi. The show is Gotham, now on Thursdays on Fox, season premiere, one, two, three, three or four days away. Uh, <laughs> the point being, uh, Drew is here with us, and uh, Drew is uh, well known as a very fine actor. Um, although um, the term character actor apparently you can't use anymore. I don't know when that started. Is that right? Yeah. I like character actor. I just read a big article you about that. You can't say that? Uh, apparently. <clears throat> what? What are you supposed it. to say? Uh, God knows. I don't know. I think every, everyone, uh, <laughs> every, every, everything in the world now is... Sort some, of a badge of honor. Uh, that's what yeah. I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, Drew's one of those guys you might say when you see him, that guy? That's Drew Powell. Uh, and, and Drew is... the um, politically correct term is... Actor of character. Okay. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, the person oh, first and okay. Actor with character. <laughs> actor with character. There you go. The point being, um, is an actress going out too? Yes, that's definitely going. Can't say actress anymore. Nope. Uh. Uh-uh. Yeah. She's an actor. Yeah. It's hard for me to remember that. Everything's an actor. Yeah. Except in the Academy Awards, it'll always be Best Actor and Best Actress. Yeah, it's not going to be Best Actor as, 1, Best Actor 2. All the equi- they can wish for all the equality they want until uh, you know Brie <laughs> Brie Larson is up against Tom Hanks. Yeah. Well, uh, well, who knows? It I might think. become a- actor of penis and actor of vagina. <laughs> <laughs> it could, yeah. Yeah, you put yeah. The Are you person... trying to get back behind we'll the glass? Who let that go? First. <laughs> Are you trying to have? <laughs> no. I, I bet the it, winner I bet of it. actor with a penis in a drama. <laughs> I bet it becomes actor in a female role and actor in a male role. Oh. Yeah, it's sure. too complicated. Yeah, it could, yeah. You know what? It's gonna get, it's gonna we get live in a world of equality, and I can attest to that because I was at a place that had a. Um, oh, here we go. I'll be I'll be delicate here. I was get the kids in the next room. No, no, no. Yes. Uh, uh, Christy, you eat at this place a lot too. Uh, in fact, I ran into Greg Hahn there. That should oh, be. Oh, I know exactly where you were. And they have um. They have cream ale. They have uh, what do you call it? Unisex bathrooms. Mm-hmm. And um, yes, they do. I'd gone in there to wash my hands. It was nothing, 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 nothing substantial. And you and forgot I, to lock the door. No, no, no. And as I exited, a elderly woman was coming in. And she went, oh, I'm sorry, I thought this was the ladies' room. And I said, no, no, it's it's unisex. And she looked at me like I said something dirty to dirty her. She to her. said, do you want sex? That's what she thought you said. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, do you want <laughs> sex? Sorry, sorry. 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 for sex. And that's when she said, I believe I have the soup. And then, <laughs> Thank you, Chip. She said, <laughs> sorry, Baldy, I'm out. Masher. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Did she yell masher? You no, know where I'm talking about. I know about. exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, the, the bathrooms are unisex. And, you know, I love that there. Yeah, yeah no like, problem. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, in fact, I was there a few days ago to prove equality, and a woman came out, and I'll tell you what, apparently she'd eaten a tire. Oh, right. Oh, the, uh, wow. <laughs> everybody, everybody, every, everybody poop. Just yeah. couldn't help yourself. <laughs> no. Those are both true stories. Uh, Let's move on, shall we? Uh, I've had too much I thought we were fun. acting. We are. We're doing the Bob and Tom Players. We have, uh, we have I'm acting. sides, as they say, <laughs> from the show Gotham, uh, which features uh, the very fine actor Drew Powell, and uh, Drew um, uh, is uh, going to direct this scene. And yeah. you have a new director pretty much every week on the show. Yeah, pretty much. We have a couple of guys that that come back, uh, uh, but they never do back to back. It's you'll we'll have a different a- a director every week. I'm gonna reinvent if, your if character. If you haven't yeah. seen the show, the photography and the sound and the art direction, and the acting, it's a, everything is just so well done. But it's really artful. Yeah. In the, yeah. Uh, so that's why when we do it. 
it will be the exact opposite. opposite. <laughs> uh-huh. Just to clarify. Yeah. But you you get to direct. Yep. Uh, um, so are we going to start wanna, we the gonna, same page? Are we going to stay with the same roles? Do, yeah, you we're going to stay with the same roles. you feel like it was well cast? I just spent six minutes getting into character. I'm yeah, ready. me too. Yeah, okay. Can we I have would like... any other accent other than the French? Y- yes. I'd go back to the game show guy. Actually, I'll do English accent. How about oh, okay? God. Yeah. Okay, yeah. here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Hang on a second. I gotta get my head in the right place. Can yeah. You- Find yeah. what's find find your. Uh, Are you gonna f- find let your- him? You set this right. up and right. he'll get in. And the Mr. Powell, Mr. Yeah. Powell. Yeah. Yeah. A question. Do you want this to help you direct? <laughs> yeah, actually, I do. <laughs> it's funny you should mention. God! Oh, my God. So my question, and this is, I think, this is a, uh, directors kind of have different styles. Do you, are it, the, the written word on the page, is that in stone, or are these are people allowed to ad-lib? make it their own voice? That's a great point. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when you have a megaphone in your hand, you can't not talk into it. <laughs> They're the it's greatest. like holding a laser pointer. <laughs> exactly. yeah, they are happen. so great. I love God. having yeah. them. Yeah. No. Um, that's a really, there's a really great point. Do you, uh, you can't ad lib on that show. You can, you? yeah. Really? Within, within a certain, I mean, look, on a TV show, you, 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 you know, you live with this character way longer than anybody else. So they do allow, I mean, some shows are different than others. You know, there's some shows like The Office, when I did The Office, for example, you think that that whole thing feels ad lib, doesn't mm-hmm. it? It's not. They not only do they write it, they write alts for different scenes. So there was sure. like you know you had to learn uh. different versions. So I mean I'm sure they did ad lib, but it's not as much as you think. On our show, you know th- we have a little bit of leeway to kind of make the scene work for us um, because and, and is, is there a collaboration? A ti- is there a typical number of times they'll do any given shot with you? Oh, it just depends. You know, it's it depends on how hard. Like I had a shot the other day where. Uh, it, there was a, it, uh, the camera was on this fancy crane and it had to like move as I moved and it was really tricky technically. Sometimes the cameras are locked off and they're not moving and it's, you know, we, we do as many takes as me getting the lines right. But, um, <laughs> but do you guys have drones on your set? Um, we uh, not when I've worked, but there there is a, a a lot more drones being used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now have you ever had anybody? And you don't have to name names. Have you ever had anybody pad their part? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like maybe their line is good morning and good morning, <laughs> sir. I was wondering how was your evening and it, 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 it is I, Joel, the UPS driver. Joel. <laughs> I have Jimmy. a magnificent package for you. Line? Would it have something to do with the B story or the A? Do you if, what, what, if you have a really long scene with a lot of text that you have to have memorized and you yeah. screw it up right toward the end? Oh. Do you say something or do you just hang your head and say, sorry, fellas, yeah. ladies? For the most part, you uh, there are very few that you have to, unless it's very intricate, that, that you can just, you're supposed to just keep on going. And I learned that the hard way because I, I, in my head, it always had to be perfect. So, you know, I was a guest star on some show. I don't even remember what it was. And I screwed up the line. I'm like, I'm so sorry. And they're like, just keep going. You know, because they cut around. They use exactly. multiple takes. So, you know. You know this from from your acting career. Is that you just keep going, even though for me sometimes I it takes me out mentally, so I have to stop because I like to get it right. But um, this time with your pants on, Mr. Powell. <laughs> <laughs> Although we appreciate your new idea. Oh. <laughs> we appreciate. <laughs> You know, as the You're director, you can fire Tom. Yes. <laughs> You're going to get a stand-in and in, <laughs> in trouble with some guild, okay? So okay, don't sorry. Do that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Once again, the right. Tom I, I really want to get through this scene. Okay, okay. guys, so, all right, listen. Uh, I have Brit- British, I play the music? British accent. Yeah, play the music. Yes, sir. Um, uh, mm. uh, my note to you, Chrissy, would be do that sexy voice because yep. that has oh, yeah. a zine written all over oh, yeah. it, at least in my brain. Heck yeah. Uh, and, and you two boys just keep doing what you're doing. You were perfect. I say, hey, 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 hey. I say how's the volume? Oh, lower? Too low. Sorry. All right, everybody. Oh. Attaboy. Go, Penguin! Oh, boner. You know I don't like to be called that. <laughs> <laughs> the beating's giving me an erection. <laughs> I ad-libbed oh. that. I ad-libbed that. Yeah, ad-lib is good, by the way. Okay, thanks. Thank you. So scary. Oh, wait, no. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep going. Just keep, keep going. going. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Ooh. and who sounds so much alike. Keep Scary. going. <laughs> I say good day. How's everyone doing? Jesus Christ. Oh, jeez. <laughs> who are you? Detective James Gordon, GCPD. <laughs> oh, come with Harvey, huh? Good to know you, too. Everybody comes Everybody. with Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> Harvey is just that good. You uh, can call me Butch. 
You don't look all that butch to me, sweetie. <laughs> more of a lipstick le- That's more better than I ever did it. I more promise you. More of a lipstick lesbian, if you ask me. Thank you. Sweetie. I'm sorry. I, the detective says, drop the bat. Oswald oh. and Raul were just having fun, right, guys? All in fun. <laughs> uh, uh, that's right. No, no problem. Fun. Uh, so, you're the new guy, huh? How you like Gotham? I say, it's splendid. <laughs> Cut, print, check the cut. Oh, yes, yes. Oh. Perfect, ladies and gentlemen. We probably violated some kind of copyright there. I'm sorry. Lord. We apologize Please to don't the staff. Me. This is the television show, Gatham. We did forget to uh, make the uh, disclaimer. This was all purely for educational purposes. Yes, so that's, right. that's right. That's yeah. mm-hmm. right. I learned a lot. Yeah. Can you imagine mm-hmm. Drew getting back to the set? Drew, can I see you? <laughs> did you... <laughs> Were you on a radio show on Monday? No, Got word you're on no, some sort of uh, um, little no. radio skit show. You want to walk oh, through? Through? When I get fired, can I come back and work with you guys? Yeah. Sure, <laughs> absolutely. Yes. Uh, but, There's always uh, room at the sports desk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll go by maybe the chief. That's right. Can I be oh. the chief? <laughs> you could be Chief McGee. Chief of the chick. <laughs> now, uh, the actual the uh, the dialogue like will be done a lot better, and it's all new dialogue for the new season of Gotham, which begins Thursdays on Fox. How about that? The new evening. And, uh, Drew, you can look for Drew in this week's episode. You will be looking for quite a while. <laughs> That's gonna... always one of the fun things about watching the show. You never know who's going to yeah. show right. up. When. That's, That's awesome. right. I'll That's be right. honest. Occasionally, I will fast forward waiting for you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I, I mean, wait. Well, I'm, sp- waiting, I'm supposed to say. Fast forwarding. I've got to get to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You can stream. What? It's a wonder you watch anything. I don't know how. Yeah. Uh, we you watch lots let of stuff. alone enjoying something. I've watched more episodes. You're either falling asleep or fast forwarding through it. Or now, let me ask you this: What Oops. movie was it when we were talking about it? And you go, "Well, I did. I, hated I fell that. asleep." And I go, well, "Didn't you see the part where this, this, and oh, this happened?" Oh, you're right. Yes. And he goes, well, I, "I fell asleep." <laughs> <laughs> this oh, was in a movie theater. That cave. is BS. No. I, I hated no. that. No, I'm saying oh, I, yeah. that's BS on his part. Like, yeah, I hated that movie. Did you see it? I fell asleep. Yeah. That's true. And it, paid there was, for a ticket. And there, sat there was some intricate plot twist that I slept through. The point being. <laughs> now, do you and your lovely wife, who I have met, and she is lovely. Uh, she is lovely. She's watching. Hi, babe. Oh, hey. How hi. Have you met oh, hi. Do you guys have a show that you watch together? Because there's a new thing out there. It's called Cheating on Your Wife that involves you watch a show like you're at the hotel doing something, you're out of town, and then yeah. you come back, and she goes, well, we've... We've got to watch another episode of Ozark. We're on episode three. You've watched the next three, and you go, oh, I, I can't wait. And something really surprising yes. happens, and you just like, sit there. <laughs> <laughs> Busted. <laughs> no, it's a negotiation. No. Like, to, for Ozark was exactly the one. I was like, okay, listen, uh, i got to work. You can watch this episode, because then I'll watch that episode on the plane. Then we'll be caught up. Like, uh, yeah, it's, Oh, it's, cool. you got to negotiate. There you man. go. Okay, absolutely. <laughs> so, no, what shows have you been watching together the last few years? Um, that's a good question. Uh, we used to, I, I used to love... Sunday night because it was Sopranos night, uh, oh, and yeah. then uh, what else was on? There was like three things on in a row that we lo- watched. We we loved Lost back in the day. Me too. Uh, Veep. We love. Uh, we watched that together. Winner of a bunch of Emmys yes. yesterday. Yes, Including, it was. What is it? Six in a row. Did Julia win? Yeah. Six. Sixth in a row. Oh, good. Yes, yeah, yeah. she did win. She did. Six. Six in a row. Yep. Yeah, six so, in a row. I think it's, it's a, a record. record. Yeah. I think so I heard so, him say the record. I just couldn't. So uh, what more reason? Now lately we've been doing the Americans, which yeah, I think is I, one of the best I, shows I've on heard TV. That's great. I got to put that in my list. There's just too many. I don't. know. That's I, it. That's true. I think the past she's season actually, was very disappointing. I don't want to send this is, out. This is the last season. Right? This one coming out, so it'll be good. She yeah. tied Cloris Leachman for six. So. Oh. Yeah. Cloris really? Leachman. Mm-hmm. Most indiv- most Emmys won by an individual. She, she was my boyfriend. <laughs> We're cutting she is Young Frankenstein. Else. You ever seen uh, Young Frankenstein? Oh, yeah, for sure. In fact, <laughs> there's favorite. a little bit of so Young Frankenstein somewhere in Solomon Grundy. You oh, just, cool. You just watch yeah. for it. You just watch for it. Mm, yeah. I heard you Are you going to do Pitting on the Ritz? Pitting <laughs> 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 on the Ritz. <laughs> If they make a st- have they done a stage musical of Young Frank? Yes, they did. Oh. It was not nearly as successful as the producers, but it was oh, okay. uh, it yeah. was done. So, are you and your wife currently watching something? Is it Ozark? Is it's that- Ozark. It's Ozark. Uh, we never missed the John Oliver show. And um, do, no, do, do you watch your show together? <laughs> she doesn't care about my show. Of course. <laughs> What do you mean she doesn't care about that? I can see I mean, you right here. Like, that's 22 episodes. That's a big commitment. <laughs> well, Christy, tell me, that, tell me that in your life, and I don't want to be mean here, but let's just say <laughs> oh my God. recently you, might have, you, you and some companion of yours, mm-hmm. and did, you say, did, did, did you hear the show this morning and they go, now? 
And then you oh. notice after a while that every time you go, hey, do you hear this thing? We had a great guest from Drew Powell. I wasn't listening. Mm. <laughs> you ever get that? Uh, yeah, I okay. guess. Right. Um, yeah. What? These are on. <laughs> okay, sorry. Because I've no, never she experienced knows she's, that. You're talking about her. Okay, now we have another experiment. The Bob and Tom players, since we're here. What? We have another show? Yeah. Mm. I now, can't getting better. A double better. feature? Well, oh. I can't possibly. Drew Powell role. did so well directing that first episode that we Thank are going to do a different show. I think. Ah, yeah. Do we have the scripts? Sure, right? yeah. Let's see if. Uh, have you let's... cast this, Dean? Uh, we haven't, but I think it'll be pretty easy. Yeah, okay. Now this is <laughs> what show? Is, this is not. This is not Gotham uh, Thursdays on Fox more. Television. No, this is another show that Drew is associated with, but this is uh, back to the uh, original Bonanza. Oh. Mm-hmm. Wow. We got a right to pick a little fight, but then, uh, <laughs> if anyone fights any one of us, he's got to fight all three. Uh, yeah. That scared me. <laughs> it, uh, I jumped a little, too. Now, uh, d- let's explain. <laughs> Drew, the reason I mentioned Bonanza earlier is because... I played young Hoss Cartwright. And didn't you film that in Australia or That's something? where I met my wife. Remember Come that, on. sweetheart? It was a go great. <laughs> and you played Hoss Cartwright, and uh, yeah. you're, you're a big guy. You probably grew up wearing the husky jeans. Oh. Oh, I hated that. I was so angry. Why would they do that? Why would they call him husky? I know. They could call him anything. I used to, I got you so mad what? when they my did. mother bought they the husky. They could have called him anything. Anything. Husky? husky. Really? Do they still do that? I don't know. Are they? Have they left that uh, name behind? I hope so. Okay, so this... Is right, this so an actual script? From wait, yeah, it's an actual script. Now, did I get the right part? Yeah, you you get to be Hoss. Heck yeah! I'm gonna be Hoss. Yep. Yeah. Tom okay. gets to be Tom gets to be uh, Ben Cartwright, the of dad, course. because it has the fewest lines. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Shouldn't I be Little Joe? I'm... Well, I was gonna make you Little Joe, but then I made you Adam because I thought that's funny. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and I, I'm Little Joe. Adam. Whoa! Yeah, Adam, Adam had what, what might be termed the worst toupee in the history of television. <laughs> no, next to Lauren Green, next to yours, Ben. Oh. Remember yeah. his? Yeah, they were both pretty bad. It was a totally different color. Michael Landon always looked like he'd just come from the hairdresser from <laughs> a little, right. little salon on the prairie. <laughs> That's right. Had the beautiful locks. He had the quaff. You know, he went to bed. Mm-hmm. I, a, I, as I, the I, casting I, director, I would give you that. If, if you guys want to swap parts, you could. If yeah, you, I yeah. wouldn't swap If okay. you're feeling... If you're feeling Why? I little... want to be Little Joe. Oh, you don't look uh, like Little Joe. Well, listen, I, I'm the director here. I'll be the judge. So we're going to okay. do it. We'll do okay. a pass. This is basically an audition, guys. All do we need, right. okay. do we right. need the Bonanza music? Do we, need, do we have a setup for the scene? I think you set the scene with that. Yeah. yeah, so this is basically, this is what these guys are. The two uh, loud. It's, the whole, it's a little loud. Tonight on okay. NBC, in color, it's Bonanza. We, uh, we find Ben oh. Cartwright and his uh, three sons there. Uh, at home by the hearth, uh, worried, worried about uh, this Nelly. Nelly, what's her name? She's in her. Netta. Netta. There we go. Yeah. Oh, she invented the pot. The Netty pot. The Netta pot. That's yes. Netty. Ah. That's Netty. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's a tease, isn't it? Never mind. They don't know who invented pot. It's stupid. I don't know. I didn't why. read ahead. I don't have any idea. What's happening. No, that's good. We want it fresh. I oh, think. Yeah, All right. absolutely. Can our director start to go with your gut. All right, ready? Uh, action. Oh, is this me? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, Pa. She seemed all right, but she was acting kind of nervous like. Our shot pulls back and adjusts to include the rest of the Cartwrights in the midst of a family conference. Adam shows some of the marks of his beating. Uh, you mean her not letting you in the house? That and, well, it's just something you feel. If I didn't know Netta so well, I'd say. <laughs> Sorry about I'd that. say she wanted to get rid of me. If you weren't feeling so much, why didn't you take a good look around the place? Little brother, I've been kicking myself. I think we all better take... <laughs> I've been doing something else to my skin. Excuse me. Oh, we are this sitting in a circle. No <laughs> I don't, I don't this know. is the worst. I don't know if Joe is, Joe is that little. Why is there a piece of bread in the center of the circle? So Ned is attacked Adam? <laughs> I think we'd better all take a good look around her place. You I are bet. the worst. <laughs> I'll bet there's a bunch of sex toys. <laughs> Adam? Suits me fine. I'm getting tired of being an invalid. <laughs> Adam, I'd rather you stayed here. But, Pa! With Captain Bolton and the deserters still in this area, we shouldn't leave the house unguarded. All right, I'll hold the fort. None of the graduate. I just gave it away. Drew is uh, one of the featured performers in Gotham, now on Thursdays on the Fox Television Network.
And uh, no Batman in Gotham yet. Well, yes, there is. Uh, there, look, I, I saw a little teaser. Mm. That's the cool part about the show. He's a little boy. And the, actually, the, Not butler, so little. the butler's a badass. Oh, he's a badass. Yeah. And, that, and he's the, that dude is legit the coolest guy in the world. Like His, his dad was Dr. Who. His name's Sean Pertwee. Oh. His dad was the third doctor, John oh. Pertwee. He yes. grew up in uh, Ibiza. <laughs> his mother was a German model. He's best friends with Jude Law. He liked the, he's, he's in one of the best like, werewolf movies of all time. Oh, is dog he soldiers. Dog soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He's uh yeah he's he is a dashing man about town. Whenever you're out yeah. with that guy, so that's uh, his real accent. Time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's he's uh he's, something. Something. he's one of those guys that can wear a scarf and get away with it. And yes. Okay, Love you know a something? man in a scarf. I bet he Hot. couldn't get away with this, this next news story. Christy just showed me a picture. Sometimes less is more. Do you more. have a picture? Yeah, uh, there's a new sweater that Calvin Klein debuted um, Fashion Week in New York City that just happened last week. It's part of their 2017 fall collection. It's the sleeves-only s- sweater that oh has a Wait invisible a bodice. Wait a minute. An invisible bodice? Yes. Or, you know, it's... The, so is, I mean, is it not, a, it's bodice. not exhibit? Now, when they show the ladies with it on, you can see their boobs completely. Yeah. That's so, so that's... No, that's, that's, that's not a printed on. No, 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 no. That's their, that's their body. Their can, body. It's so like you can see through the, the the body of it, but then it has wool sleeves on it. The garment is called the multicolor wool cheerleader sweater. Guess how much? Wool so it's not just the sleeves attached to sheer fabric. And the bodice is just you have to believe it's there. The, no, it's actual, there. It's, it's just, just completely. See, it's just see-through. sheer. Yeah. So it yes. looks like you're wearing just two. Sleeves. Very sleeves. heavy sweater sleeves. Well, like, it makes sense, like two uh, leg warmers. They almost mm-hmm. look like Letterman jackets. Yeah, sleeves. that's why they call it the cheerleader sweater. Oh, guess, okay, okay. guess how much, Josh? What would you oh, pay for that? I'm sure $1,000. $1,000. Yeah, they probably want something $1, like $1,650. Oh, oh. I was close as well. Currently sold on. out online. In Montreal, it was 2000 bucks. You could still get it on the Barney's website, though, for 1150 if you really absolutely have to. Ca- you can't hey, where live without you it. Where could you wear that? I, but uh, that's that's high fashion. My wife went took, took her mother last week to Fashion Week to a, one uh-huh. of those shows, and she <laughs> was like, there were a lot of people with, with le- very little clothing on. I mean, at a fashion show, mm-hmm. that's kind of how it goes. Yeah, Christy sh- <laughs> showed me one last week that was so utterly ridiculous. That oh, the vagina that. dress. Yes, mm-hmm. it was the a dress seriously dress. that had seriously had cloth. I mean, like. But the color it was called the vagina dress yeah had multiple uh, what would you call them like cloth sculptural vaginas on it yeah m- mommy Here, parts I can pull that up for you what yes mm-hmm. uh, it's, it's for natural beauty um well it's <laughs> you know in the privacy of one's own home maybe <laughs> no <laughs> but, but i don't you, want to be one who uses i don't want to walk one. down the okay. street Wearing, you know. Yeah, but you mentioned when you said it looks like leg warmers, except on the arms. Mm-hmm. But then, then you can see through the top. So, I, so oh. we call those gun warmers. Here we go. Vagina themed <laughs> yeah. collection. It's a Berlin brand. It was debuted at. There Fashion you go. Fashion week. There you go. Oh, Fashion I see. week. Whoa. So see, it looks like a, a nice traditional blazer, but the blazer is actually oh. the. Right. Uh, yeah. Yes. Can I both, say that? Both Majora and Majora. Oh, yes. <laughs> Well, it, when it's time for Hanukkah, you get the uh, menorah. Not that kind of. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, lordy. I, do they? Could they do some legs only pants? <laughs> Same concept, where it's just, just chaps. Aren't those chaps? Uh, legs uh, just. What legs only? Pants. In other words, they'd no, go up. No, cr- there's no they'd, they'd go up to you. They'd go up well, to your thigh. Well, that would be chaps. They would be chaps. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> did chaps have a front? They have a no. buckle in the chaps front. Chaps only no. have a front. No, chaps. They have a buckle in the, the front cha- to keep them on around the waist. Almost. No, but legs, well, no, legs only crotch. pants, they would the, they would completely stop at no, the upper the, thigh. The Those are called thigh high boots. The front part of the chaps. Yeah, essentially like they would look yeah. like thigh high boots. boots. Yeah, yeah that's, right. that's what they yeah, would We'll be. have to put this picture up. It's very hard to imagine what we're talking about, but imagine I a sweater that only has sleeves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's weird. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, very nice. Well, different uh, strokes for different folks. Sure, Tom. yeah, wear what you want, but... No, I assume they take the rest of the sweater and sell that as a poncho. <laughs> okay, yeah, they yes, could. Because, I mean, they, 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 sure. they got it somewhere. It's, <laughs> right. it's like, you know, when you buy when you buy chicken wings, they had to use the rest of the chicken somewhere. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> just, just saying. We have to review what we learned in today's show. I can t- do it pretty quickly. Uh, right. We learned that uh, Drew Powell will be a featured performer once again on this season of Gotham on Thursday evenings. Thursday, Thursday ladies and gentlemen. Thursday, Thursday, 8 o'clock. On on the oh, Fox I can't Network. wait, Drew. Can't this is wait. Thanks, man. It's going to be great. Trust set me. Set your gizmo thing to record. The gizmo thing. Whatever you call that now. It's not a, what is it now? It's a, the thing on your... DVR. DVR. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, and uh, let's see. Um, lots of interesting shows. One Emmy's last 
last night, many of them very deserving. It's just that I haven't heard of a whole bunch of them. It's hard to watch that much TV. Uh, Chrissy says there's a new study out saying if you watch four hours straight of television every night, it's going to kill you. It could be. Well, it be increases your chance. you got to get up and walk around a little bit. Around. It's favorite. National Cheeseburger Day. Let's die eating cheeseburgers. Oh, what? Is it? Yes. Uh, check out the videos on the Bob and Tom app. We've got the Ooh. kiddie pool full of mayonnaise a guy dives into. And that little doggy at Boise State that runs out and picks up the uh, the mayonnaise. kicking tea. God, is that funny. This is the Bob and Tom Show. From 